after pulling them all apart and checking the drums and the rest of the parts, let's just say not one single part in the brake system was usable. Many times you could just replace the wheel cylinders and replace the shoes. Well, not this time. All four drums were too far gone to be turned. The brake hardware was shot. Shoes were shot. All the hydraulics were shot. plan for the brakes. After looking at the cost of replacement parts, it really wasn't that much more for a disc brake upgrade on the front. Those things are pretty cheap these days for the half ton trucks. I think this kit was $250 from Speedway Motors. I had to get the additional adapter for the dual reservoir master cylinder. I found this one online with an adjustable rod. While I ordered the disc brake kit and adapter online, I was able to get the rest of the parts from my local parts house the new hydraulic clutch master cylinder, and also the slave cylinder. Since they couldn't find me a new clutch hydraulic line, they worked with a local shop and had one made. It's now the shiniest part of the truck. With AN fittings on both ends and a braided line, my hydraulic clutch is working perfectly now. I also replaced all the hard lines on the truck from front to back. This also required a fair amount of cleaning and scraping of crud, but well worth it. For the last few years, I've been using a special paint called Cerakote. It goes on thin and dries to a matte finish. It's really durable and doesn't require a catalyst to cure. I painted all the brake parts with it. You can see them here. The disc brake kit comes with everything. Bearings, brackets, nuts, bolts, etc. Here I'm greasing and installing the bearings into the rotors. When they say these kits are bolt-on, they mean it. I had to do some slight grinding on the bottom of the calipers so the steering worked correctly, but it was pretty minor. Once all the hardware was in place, it was time to get the brake fluid in. The first thing I needed to do was bench bleed the master cylinder. You can do this on or off the car. I chose to install it and have a helper pump the pedal to work the brake fluid through it. First you need to install the tubes that pump the fluid through the master cylinder and back into the top. The whole goal here is to pump it until there isn't any air slower. bubbles coming out. The pressure on the pedal should also be a lot firmer. After you reconnect the hard lines and then you work from the furthest point back on the system, which would be the passenger rear, fill the system and then either push or pull the fluid out. I work by myself most of the time, so having a vacuum system works great. You just hook it up to the bleeder fitting on top of the wheel cylinder, crack it open and then pull the fluid through the system with a vacuum pump. Once you stop getting air, you close it off and go to the other side, then do the same up front. When you're all done, check for leaks. The only leak I had was on the proportioning valve, which was my own fault. I forgot to put thread sealer on it. I pulled it off, added some sealer, and uh, stopped the leak. 